A camera that also produces color prints? Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here, and this time I'm looking at cameras. Not regular DSLRs or anything, I'm looking at this. This is the little compact Kodak Print-O-Matic. I love the name, Print-O-Matic. It's a 10 megapixel camera with flash, and its secret weapon is it actually prints. So let's give it a shot right off the bat. Now, here's the thing I will say is that it comes with incredibly little documentation, as in none at all. And you really, you open the box and you're kind of left trying to figure out where to go from there. And not only that, it doesn't come with any paper. So you have to buy your print paper separately, which I found to be a little frustrating because you have to know in advance. My guess is that some people are gonna buy this and think it's all ready to rock and roll and they're gonna open it up and they're not gonna be able to do anything with it. Kind of a drag. It also, if you put in a micro SD card, it can save your pictures onto the card, but it doesn't come with an SD card. Uh, you know, this is the kind of thing where Kodak, for seriously a dollar, you could actually go and get a really cheap eight gig S micro SD card and put it in the packaging. So I had to buy that separately. But let's give it a whirl. You can choose, uh, there's a slider on the top for color or black and white. And I will warn you, the prints aren't super huge, but I'm gonna take a picture of my setup of how I actually make videos. So here we go. So the beep says that it's captured the image. And now, if you look, there's a slot on the side. So in a moment or two, it should start printing. Now, the printing technology is really cool. They use what they call um, their zinc printing system, and it's all self-contained. There's no separate ink cartridges. I think you can hear the camera is starting to do the print. And it's interesting, it's a stack of sheets that aren't light sensitive, so you don't have to work in a dark room to put them in or anything. And it comes with one that's just this dark blue sheet. And somehow the camera uses that to calibrate. So every time you put one in, it actually calibrates for that. And here's our print coming out. And as you can see, it's sm actually smaller than a credit card. It's pretty small, but um, mostly what it's got, and here's a close up, mostly what it's picked up here is it's picked up the light that I have, which is not a surprise. So here's another print that I did with the camera. This is one from, maybe, I don't know, a couple of days ago with a pumpkin. And you can see it's nice and bright. Um, these pictures aren't gonna win any awards. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the purpose of this camera. This is not a camera where you're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna do this and then I'll put them up in my gallery. This is more something I see that you could give to teenagers or even tweens or kids and let them have some fun with it. Now, having said that, I will also say that it is not exactly free. So, let me first tell you that the battery, it takes two hours to charge and it runs pretty much forever as far as I can tell. I've only charged it once and used it a bunch. And there's little colored lights on the bottom. Um, and again, there's no instructions on how to interpret this. You have to go onto Kodak to figure that out. Um, Kodak, include some sort of small manual, please. <laughs> um, but if you get below 10%, it starts flashing red and it won't print because it doesn't want to actually die halfway through a printout. So it'll do that and at 2%, it automatically powers down. Um, micro SD card is, you can see on the bottom here, there's a micro USB for charging and then a couple of, I'm, I'm guessing a tiny hole for doing a reset if something goes weird. Um, I don't know what the third slot is and then the fourth one is actually the micro SD card and I put in a 16 gig micro SD. So hopefully that just captured the image we just did too. Um, and let's see, so uh, I could do color and black and white. You saw the switch on the top. And so all that's left to talk about is the paper. So this is zinc two by three paper. So these printouts are two inches by three inches. Pretty cozy, pretty small size. They run roughly 50 cents a sheet. So it's $9.99 for 20, $24.99 for 50. And a sheet, what I mean by a sheet, is one of these. So this picture cost 50 cents to print. Now, what's interesting is that I actually checked. My local photo store can actually print a four by six color image for 35 cents. So it is more expensive for me to get the convenience and the fun of being able to print on the spot 
then if I just save things, even on with this camera, on the micro SD card, and then actually print them a little bit later. So you're definitely paying for instant gratification. That might be something that's entirely worth it. Again, at like a kid's party or something, this could be really fun. However, warning number two, if you touch the button, you get a printout, even if you're not ready for it. So you see, this is not a great photo, but 50 cents, boom, like that. So you can imagine with kids, you're probably gonna need to do a little bit of teaching before they go, oh, what's this button? Click, 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 click. Oh, there we go, we're out of paper. That was a fun $10, thanks, Dad probably would be pretty frustrating. <laughs> so I know lots of limitations, lots of things that I'm not thrilled about with this camera. The technology is really cool. The idea of this being like an old Polaroid land camera or something where you see an image, you take the picture and it prints it out, that's really fun. Um, but you gotta think at the size that it produces these images and the cost per image. I'm not sure it's a huge improvement over the old ones where they had, I don't know if you remember the old pictures that had had the chemicals on the end of them. Um, you know, I think that was actually cheaper per print. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, before I tell you the price of this unit, let me also ask if you can click on my subscribe button, because I sure appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. Cool. Now, the camera, this Kodak Printomatic, comes in yellow or gray. This is the gray color. Yellow is a little bit more cheery. And it runs $69.99 at Amazon.com. And that gets you this, but that does not get you this. So you're going to need to also buy yourself some print paper, or you're going to have a camera that's probably designed for the one thing you're not doing, which is actually printing. <laughs> so this is Dave Taylor, and I will catch you in my next video.